Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike here, man. Wanted to do a Falcons-Eagles recap. First game of the season, man. Didn't go as we planned, 18-12 Eagles. But let me give you three keys, uh, to, three reasons why the Falcons, you know, didn't get the job done. First one is penalties, okay? When you have 19 penalties, 26 penalties in a game, something is wrong and the Falcons have to get this corrected now granted this is the first game of the season it's going to be sloppy and I thought the refs was absolutely horrible just they wanted this they took over the game it was a horrible horrible game refs look we don't want to come to see you we don't want to see the refs throwing flags every five seconds that game was not that bad but the refs made it that bad okay but the Falcons still have to you know come out and play their game which leads me to the second point and it is Steve Sarkeesian now I made a post I made a video you know saying the Falcons the fans a lot of people have to get off Sark he'll stand by that but all right but I like what I saw the first draft of the first drive of the game was uh you know the Falcons pretty they pretty much ran down the field they did exactly what I expected them to do is be uh, the dominant offense that they can they definitely use a lot of guys uh, specifically Julio Jones we want to get Julio Jones the ball but one thing that I did not like is creativity in the red zone okay we cannot continue every time we get in the red zone we cannot continue to spread the ball out this is something that I saw every single time in the red zone is we get in the red zone put Matt Ryan in the shotgun and say Julio Jones Muhammad Sanu win one-on-one all right nothing creative at all you can't continue to go all goals all goals all goals every single time you get in the red zone switch things up you know, do some play action. Just hand the ball to Tevin Coleman, Devontae Freeman, and let the offensive line do what they want to do. But you have to mix things up. The Eagles knew exactly what we were going to do. They let, they lined up at seven across the entire time because they knew the Falcons weren't going to uh, switch things up. So that has to change. Sark, you have to get better with that. The third one I have to say is the sacks, all right? The Falcons, Tack McKinley, Vic Beasley, those guys got pressure all night long, okay? The Falcons defense played tremendous. They were great. I loved what I saw from the defense. But you have to get sacks and finish the sacks. I saw at least three or four sacks from Tack McKinley, Vic Beasley, and that Falcons uh, defensive line that they were almost there in extended plays where they just could not bring down folds. Yes, they got a lot of hits on them. Yes, they got a lot of pressure on foes, but you have to finish sacks. This is the reason why Matt Ryan was so uncomfortable last night you know, in the, the game against the Eagles. It was one of the reasons why he was so uncomfortable. One, the defensive line, you know, pretty much totally shut down the, def uh, the run game for the Falcons, but they finished sacks. They hit Matt Ryan and they finished sacks. This is what the Falcons have to do if they want to be a Super Bowl contender. Let me know what you guys think, man. Falcons, Eagles, recap. Your boy, man, Mike is out, man. Peace.